Hey, I'm Terry Donovan from the Sartorial 7 and this is my River Island Masterclass. So today we're going to be talking about our top Sartorial 7 style picks. Giving you advice, how to do your hair, how to tie a knot, in what order you wish to get ready, how we get ready, how we pick our clothes, how we choose what to wear when we're going to what occasion. After I've washed my hair, I don't blow dry it, I don't towel dry it. I just leave it for about two or three minutes. I come it all forward, do a slight side parting, and then pull it all across with the comb. And then comb it back on one side and side back on this side. I use black and white hair pomade, rub it in both hands and slap it right down across the whole of my hair and then style it with the comb to what you feel necessary. After that, just a quick spruce of a little bit of hairspray. So when I get ready in the morning and deciding what I want to wear or what we want to wear, we tend to see what tones go with each other. So what colour palette fit together. Browns go nicely with greys, blacks, greys, whites. Think about the tones. Don't try and do anything too flashy. Keep it simple and keep it classic. First of all, I yard my shoes. As today I'm going for a black shoe, I'll go for a grey suit. So I'm going to go for a monochrome look. Really nice, really simple and really clean cut. Also socks. Keep socks nice, keep them bold, but again, don't try and be too flashy with them. Think about what you wear, but don't overthink it. If you overthink it, you can see. Tie knots. A lot of people ask me, or they ask my friends within the Sartorial 7, what tie knot is the best tie knot? So this depends on your collar. On your shirt, it depends on the lapel on your suit. To be honest, I prefer a schoolboy, which is the four in hand. The reason for this is you can make this knot bigger by how you choose the length of your tie. Your thinner side should be just above your belt line. Cross the thicker side over the tie. Round up and through the knot. Once you've pulled your tie through the knot, pull sharply down and that should hopefully bring your dimple. Pull your tie by pulling the back one up to the top of your button. Pull it nice and tight so it sits firmly on the top button. Again, I'm Terry Donovan from the Sartorial 7 and this has been our River Island Masterclass. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Sartorial7.